Lots to talk about right now with what's going on with COVID-19. Unprecedented, things we've never seen before. When it comes to your finances, talk to the expert, Steve from SBC. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's start with um, people that have got to be coming to you saying, people kept saying things can't be good forever. I should have prepared. What are you saying to those people? Well, first thing is, you know, you, you, you can't be prepared for everything like that we're seeing right now, but you can certainly put things in perspective and make sure that your finances are taken care of. You know, there's all kinds of other things you need to do for health-wise, but from a financial standpoint, you got to understand what's coming down the pike, how much money is being printed, uh, the, amount of, the amount of ways they're going to try to stimulate this economy and, and what that does long-term. So when people are looking at, let's talk specifically with what you're doing in gold and in precious metals. People would say, we've watched the price climb, we should have done this earlier. You don't want to do it after the price has climbed. Well, I think that right now people are preparing as if this is a blizzard. And really what it is is it's going to be a long winter. And you got to put your nuts away and you got to prepare for this thing. We've seen this before and this is just simply the tip of the iceberg. This whole thing is going to go on for however long it goes on for and there's going to be some severe damage to the economy. What we've seen so far is just simply the small part that we've seen. There's a lot more coming down the pike, and you're certainly going to want to be prepared by owning precious metals. So you don't think that this is kind of the peak for things. It's kind of just the beginning when it comes to that. No. If you look at the amount of money the government's already printed, you know, just basically just, it was basically no time at all. We're a couple of weeks in, they've already printed $2 trillion. Now they're talking about phase four. There's going to be unprecedented amount of money created more so probably than what was created in 2008 in the financial crisis. If you look in that period of time, gold went up 270% or more over the next three years. What we're seeing right now is just people's initial reaction. There's a lot more to come. So unprecedented is the word I just used. Um, president has said, we've never done this before. We usually build an economy by pushing money out there to get people together. We're paying people to stay apart. Is there anything you've ever seen you can compare this to? Well, obviously, the health side of it, nobody's ever seen anything in 100 years. But what we can say is you can draw from things like uh, the financial crisis of 2008. You know, we have nearly 100 years of experience in our building. We're battle tested. These guys know what they're doing, and they're looking at what's going on in the economy and how you can better prepare. Um, there are strategies we can utilize that can really help people to protect themselves. And right now, you need to protect yourself in every way. And financially, with precious metals, is only one of them. So that's my last question for you is... There have got to be people coming to you that are frantic because as far as financial investments are concerned, people are not necessarily savvy, but certainly when it comes to what you specialize in, how can you be that calming force for someone? Well, again, all of us have been through this. So it's not, it, to some extent, with the economy getting in complete turmoil, we're in a, a time right now where you have to be able to kind of make sure that you reduce your risk. And that's what we prepare people for is making sure you have that wealth insurance in place when you need it. And if you can't see that you need it now, I don't know when you ever would. That's the thing for me is that now more than ever, I hear more people saying, I should have been prepared, not, um, oh, it's no, I don't need to. Now more than ever, people are saying, I should have done this a long time ago. Sure, but that doesn't mean that you can't start now and still protect yourself considerably more than you would if you waited another month, two months, six months, or whatever it may be. Is it different for people that are in different positions? I mean, obviously, if you're someone that's in the food service industry, uh, you're hurting right now. But if you're in the provisions industry, you're going 1,000 miles an hour. It's got to be different for different groups of people. Well, sure it is. And you see that restaurants right now that have been, you know, big chain restaurants that are, can't even make their rent for uh, the beginning of this month. How many other smaller companies are out there? How many other larger companies? I have a client today that just told me he may have to close up several of his restaurants because this thing is going to hit, impact them so badly for the foreseeable future. And even the bailouts and the different types of stimulus packages that the government's talking about doing is really only talking about the next couple months. Who knows how long this thing's going to last? They're talking about maybe 30 more days or 60 more days, but do we really know? That's why we appreciate you guys coming each week because um, if nothing else, solid information and something we can grab onto. It's the fear of the unknown that the people hate the most. And you being able to give people accurate information, I think, is calming people, but it's also helping them prepare for the future. So thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right, I'll be back.